how can you configure your browser along with Burp Suite to not just capture the HTTP requests but also the requests that are using HTTPS protocol. I noticed in the last lecture I did some mistakes, not exactly mistakes, but I wasn't able. In fact, I just remembered that the settings have been changed over the years. So that's why what I told you was an incomplete thing. And here I am again to correct them. Okay, so it's about HTTPS request. Let me show you what I mean. So this browser, it's configured with Burp Suite already as I have shown you in the last lecture. You will see network settings 127.0.0.1, this 8080. As you can see in here, the proxy listener is set up. And according to that, I just put those settings inside of Firefox. So now it's already, as you know, we can visit any website now that uses HTTP protocol. For example, I can go to testphp.vulnweb.com. It uses HTTP here and let me just see that if it really is using HTTP. So yeah, it's HTTP and I can visit that easily. However, what if I try to visit any HTTPS website, maybe of the same version, the HTTPS version. So S. And here I put the wrong column. Testphp.vulnweb. I should not speak while typing. Okay. Enter and you see we are getting this message. If you try to do the same thing with something like google.com, you will see you get this message again because it is a website that is not using HTTP but instead it is using the secure version of that which is HTTPS. And this was the problem that I had to figure out how to fix. So you can see for each time we'll have to, uh, you know, like click on this accept the risk and continue. And here, in fact, in case of google.com, we can't even do that as a secure site. So how can you escape this part and actually capture and work with the HTTPS request in your browser that is configured with Burp Suite? So it's quite easy. For that, just go to HTTP Burp. Okay, as soon as you go here, you will find this button. I told you this in last lecture as well. Just download it and save it. It has been downloaded as you can see here. What I would do now is go to settings of Burp Suite. And here in the privacy and security. Oh, sorry. I just said, I think Burp Suite. Don't go to settings of Burp Suite. Go to Firefox settings. And here you have the privacy and security. Somewhere here you will find certificates. If I click on view certificates, I can see all the certificates that are already installed. So I can just click on import and the newest certificate that we have downloaded here, which is CA cert to something, I can go ahead and open it. Make sure to tick this option here, which is trust this CA to identify websites. And that is essentially it. You have to follow the full process of importing the certificate from here instead of directly just clicking on the request or act. No, I just messed up. All right. What I'm saying is that instead of directly just clicking on the certificate after you have downloaded it and, you know, like clicking on OK and installing certificate, this used to work and this was a good way until the last few years. But now, the only way that practically works is by selecting it in the way I have shown you using Firefox. And because you can click this option, trust the CA certificate to identify websites only when you use this method. And as soon as you do that and click OK, it's all set up. And now you can visit any of the sites that we were not able to visit properly earlier, like google.com. And you will see that we are easily able to access this website, which is using HTTPS. And that is what you want to really focus on at this moment. So that is basically how you can visit any HTTPS site using the configurations as I have shown you in Burp Suite. Just download that certificate from this part, HTTP, Burp, and then put that into the Firefox view certificates and take that option that I had shown you earlier in this lecture and that will allow you to visit any website that you want to visit. For example, I can also show you something like 
Facebook. And you'll be able to see that I can also use this website. So that is the point. That is how you work with any HTTPS configuration in Burp Suite and do whatever I have done and you should be fine and you should be good to go.